The document viewer does what the document viewer does, and that is to let you view documents on your site. It includes Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, PDF, and you can try it with a few others. But those are normally the ones that we want to post online for people to view. Of course, you're not going to want people to view JPEG, right? You're going to just post an image for that. Let's see how the document viewer works, and it's really, really easy. Look for the widget called Document, and then you will see Document Viewer with the EP for Element Pack in the top right-hand corner. Drag and drop. Now it will give you an error because you haven't specified the URL, and you have to go get that in your media library. I have in my media library uploaded two documents to show you the, the differences. The one is PDF, and the other one is a PowerPoint, and you can see it's the latest, PPTX going to click on the PDF and then grab the link over here, copy it, go back here, and then paste it. If I'm lucky, it's going to display here, and it did that. If you do not see it display here and you only see the frame, don't worry, don't fret. It is still there. I did run into it a few times that it did not display. It may just be that your refresh rate or your internet is a tad slow at that moment. It's not going to show you. What you then do is you click on that green wonderful button called update and preview the changes. And then here, this is how it will display. Really nice. And do you also see the pop-up here? Do you see the pop-up? If you click on it, guess what it will do? It will pop up. And now it will also allow people to print, download, just like a normal viewer. Isn't that just grand? Let's look at the next one to have a variety of what's going on here. And I'm losing tracking over here. Little, 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 close this one. PowerPoint. It's going to present it as a deck for you. Copy it again. Go back to Elementor. Paste it. Give it some time to think and to update. And there we go. These are my slides, and it's nicely done. It is really, really stylishly done. I like how this has been done. You can present an entire PowerPoint slide here. You can play around with the document height if you want to reduce that. Up to that. You want to make it bigger. No, I would probably leave it like this so that people can have an idea that it is scrollable. And that's more or less what you're going to be doing with it. You have a few styling options here for your section and your widget in the back, but this is nice. This is a good idea of having your documents viewed. And of course, you can add it into various sections as well. If you have some description and you want people to be able, let me just click on this one over here. Oh, why am I doing that? Because I can. Okay. Let's just exit this one. Okay. Right. Right. It's not going to allow me to click on it. Navigator. There goes my good friend Navigator. Call him. Document viewer. Copy. Why do I do this and not just drag and drop? For some reason, every time I put something at the top and I want to drag and drop it into something else, it doesn't work. It works for the rest of my sections, but not for that. I'm not sure if it's something my side or something to do with my editor. No idea. You can put some text here, play around with it. Nicely configurable. Let's also just update this so that you can have a look again on the front end what it is doing. All those little red monsters all over the place. And if it doesn't update, I also found that in WordPress, if I delete that part, it should give me my update. Yes, there we go. Uh, I always sit around and spend hours on trying to figure out workarounds and then it works. Good. There you go. And then zoom in, baby. Zoom out. Zoom in, baby. <laughs> okay, plus and minus also. Very nice. So like I said, I've tested it with uh, Word, with Excel, PowerPoint, and PDF. Works very, very nicely. And this is the add-on from BD Themes Element Pack. Check on the link below, and then you can go to their website and see all the tremendous amount of widgets that they have on offer in their Element Pack add-on for the Elementor Pro as well as the free. This is JP here with Websites for Beginners.